everybody, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today uh, we are just going to have a little chat, I'm sitting here on my bookshelves, um, about why I don't watch Canada Reads anymore. Um, this is a video that I've been wanting to film for quite some time and the main reason why I don't watch Canada Reads and the main reason why it's quite disappointing to me as, as a Canadian um, is that I love fantasy. I read a lot of fantasy and I think that it is a far, far undervalued genre. Um, and in the few years that I've been watching Canada Reads and I have looked back to see all of the books that have been featured on Canada Reads, I don't think there has ever been a fantasy, like a, like not a classic, but like a, just a regular fantasy novel, um, featured. And that's really a shame, um, because the genre has so much to offer and it's just really disappointing to me as, as a reader, as a viewer, that, um, that Canada Reads would not put forth fantasy books as ones to feature on, on their show. Um, you know, I would love to see a fantasy book get the opportunity to win that, that award, that status, um, as well as the fact that there are so many amazing fantasy books written by Canadian authors, not even just in YA, but also in other, you know, age categories, adult, middle grade, um, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite authors, uh, Kenneth Appel, um, Kenneth Appel, he wrote the Silverwing series, and I love that series with my whole heart. I feel like it's just got so much depth, and it's just got so much to say and so much to offer, and I just really feel like everyone should read it, and I feel like it should really be you know, if it was ever featured on Canada Reads, I would be right back watching it and recommending the show to people. Um, fantasy books really deserve that spotlight, I feel, and it's really disappointing to me to see that they are not generally featured. So, that's the main kind of point I wanted to put out with this video. Um, so, as of right now, because the books that Canada Reads often recommends are, are a lot of times contemporary kind of historical novels or like, you know, true story novels. And don't get me wrong, like, okay, fine, but I really feel like fantasy deserves to be, to have that spotlight. And the fact that it doesn't is just very upsetting to me. And that's probably just a me thing. I know it's kind of a petty thing, but... I really, really, really would love to see some fantasy books featured on the show and to see them given a fair chance. And until I see that, I can't in good conscience recommend Canada Reads um, as something that should be viewed or listened to or what have you. I just can't recommend it. So, yeah. Um... I think that's about all I wanted to kind of say on that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about a little bit, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go into this too much because I'm not really, really big on these kinds of topics. Um, that's not what my channel is here for. That's really not what my channel is about. Um, so I'm going to be fairly brief. Um, but I think everybody, or um, unless you've been truly living under a rock, um, I think you probably have some idea about some of the things that have been going on in the world recently. Um... There's, you know, some movements that have been happening and some violence that's been happening. And I just wanted to kind of, 
I don't want to share any thoughts or opinions on that. I just want to sort of bring your attention to another story that sort of came out around the same time as all this started happening. And it's a story that I felt was, you know, very upsetting. And it was something that, you know, really kind of threw me as a person with a disability. Um, and that is the story of uh, a young girl named Willow Dunn. Um, I, she, it, from Brisbane, Australia. Um, I'm not going to say too much about it. I'm just going to, I will link her story below because I just, I really feel that her story deserves to have more recognition than what it's gotten. I feel like it's been kind of overshadowed by all of everything else that's kind of been going on in the world recently. And, um, I, on some level, don't feel that that's right, so I wanted to kind of try to help rectify that and try to kind of share her story so that it gets the attention that it truly deserves. Um, major, major, major trigger warnings for, um, if you look at the article below, for, uh, death, uh, homicide, child abuse, um, as well as neglect and um, abuse of someone with a disability. Um, so, you know, be forewarned. Um, if that's something that is going to trigger you or have you feeling, you know, if you're not in a good headspace, um, maybe don't read the article. Um, but if you are in a good headspace and you feel that, you know, you want to read it because you want to see, you know, what story I'm talking about that has been, you know, very, very overshadowed by everything else that's been going on, um, feel free to click on the link down below and read, read the story for yourself. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that's about all I wanted to kind of say on that. So, um, yeah. Um, but I do try to keep, I am, I do try to keep this channel a very happy place. And, um, so I try to kind of stay away from a lot of, you know, events and things that are happening. That's not what my channel is about. My channel is about books and my experience as an autistic person. Um, but I feel like part of my experience as an autistic person, as someone with a disability, is also to support and share the story of others who have disabilities and who are mistreated um, because of that. Um, I don't normally, like, I don't, how do I say this? I don't seek out those stories. It's not like I spend my time going around being like, oh, you know, I want to share this story and that story. No. But when something does come to my attention that has been, you know, quite overshadowed by something else um, that has gone on in the world, um, I feel like it, maybe it's the Libra in me, but I want to try to rebalance the scales and um yeah so I will anyway I will leave that my thoughts at that but I will leave that uh that article down below if you want to read Willow Dunn's story um yeah so okay um that's about all I wanted to say in this video um, and I will see you guys all next time. Alright guys, bye.